Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Holderness and this is Practical Python for Beginners. In this module, we're going to cover Python conditionals. Computer programs need to be able to make a lot of decisions. So how do we make those decisions in a program? A conditional statement or if statement lets us make decisions in Python. As a simple example, let's say we were deciding to go on a family hike. We might say if it's sunny and 90 degrees or higher, it's too hot and we're going to stay inside. Also, if it's raining, we want to stay inside. And otherwise, let's enjoy the outdoors. To make these decisions, we actually had to compare the temperature and the forecast. And we'll see how we do something similar in Python. There are six comparators in Python. Less than, less than equal to, equals, greater than equal to, and greater than, and not equal. From the interpreter, let's assign the value 95 to the temp variable, short for temperature. Then we can enter temp equal equal 95 for checking if temp is equal to 95. And we can think of it as asking, is the temperature equal to 95? And we get true because 95 is equal to 95. Also notice that assignment is one equals sign and the equals to comparator is two equals signs. Next, we'll check if temp is less than 90 and we get false. Now let's look at how these comparators are used inside an if statement to make a decision. An if statement lets us decide what to do. It's like saying, if this comparison is true, then do this. In our program, again, we'll set temperature to 95. Then we have the keyword if followed by a comparison is temperature greater than 80, which evaluates to true. So let's add something to do inside the if statement. Let's add two print statements inside that if statement. Since this if or conditional statement evaluates to true, then the following print statements are run. So let's take a look at running this and we can see it's too hot and stay inside are printed to the screen. Any indented code that comes after an if statement is called a code block and is what is run if the statement is true like we just saw. If we instead set the temperature to 75, the if statement evaluates to false because 75 is not greater than 80. So the indented code block is not run. Again, if we run our program, there is no output. If we add another line of code that prints have a good day after the if statement and its code block, we can see that's where the program continues running after the if statement. When we run this, we can see that even though the if code block wasn't run, have a good day was printed. For indenting code blocks in Python, usually four spaces are used. And if the white space is not consistent and you then use two spaces somewhere else, you will get an indentation error. Most IDEs will take care of the white space for you when you tab over, so you don't have to worry too much about this, but it's something to be careful with. In our previous example, when the if statement is false, how would we do something else here when we get false? We can use an else statement. So when the if statement is true, we run the indented code block below it. Otherwise, we can have an else statement that will run the code block below it when the if statement is false. So in this case, temperature is not greater than 80, so the else block is run. And if we run our program, we can see enjoy the outdoors is printed to the screen. This is working great, but what if we want to check another condition? like if the temperature is less than 60, print, it's too cold, stay inside. We can check another condition by adding an else if check shortened to elif in Python. Here, we'll check if temperature is less than 60. Then we'll print, it's too cold, stay inside. Since we updated the temperature to be 50, the if statement is false but the elif statement is true since 50 is less than 60. So it's too cold and stay inside are printed. If instead the if statement and the elif statement were false, 
the else block would still run. What if we wanted to shorten our program to only say, stay inside or enjoy the outdoors? We can see that we're actually repeating this line of code, print stay inside, twice. Is there a way we could combine the first two if statements? The keyword or lets you combine multiple comparisons. At least one of those comparisons needs to be true for the whole if statement to be true. Since temperature is 75, greater than 80 is false. Less than 60 is also false, making false or false a combined false result. So if we run this, we can see the else statement is run and enjoy the outdoors is printed. The temperature is now set to 50. So 50 is not greater than 80, but it is less than 60, which becomes false or true, which evaluates to a true result. So print stay inside is run. Let's add another variable that stores a string as the forecast with rainy, cloudy, or sunny. Like or, the keyword and also lets you combine multiple comparisons. But both need to be true for the whole if statement to be true. Since the temperature is 75, it's less than 80, which is true. But if we check the forecast, it's not equal to rain, so we get false, which becomes true and false, which evaluates to false overall, because both need to be true for an AND statement to be true overall. So the ELSE statement would be run. Now we updated the forecast to be sunny. The temperature is still 75, which is less than 80, which is true. And if we check the forecast, it's not equal to rain, so we also get true there. So the overall IF statement is true and true, which evaluates to true. So this time print go outside would be run. Another keyword not lets you negate a comparison and can help make the statement a little more readable. Now we can read the if statement as if not forecast equal to rain. Since forecast is equal to rain, this evaluates to true and then we take the opposite of that because not is in front of it and the whole statement is false. Since not negates a comparison or makes the opposite of it, not true becomes false and not false becomes true. So in this case, the else statement would be run for print stay inside. In summary, we just saw three logical operators in Python. OR and AND let us combine comparisons inside IF statements. NOT lets you negate a comparison. Another data type that can be used in comparisons is called a Boolean, which can store either a true or false value. And that actually adds to the primitive data types we've seen before for int, float, and string. Now we also have a Boolean data type. We're going to use a Boolean to store whether it's raining or not. Now the if statement reads, if raining, print, stay inside, which is getting closer to reading like English. If we run this, raining is true, so the print statement is run and stay inside is printed to the screen. We could also change this to say, if it's not raining, then print go outside. Otherwise, print stay inside. Since raining is true, the if statement becomes if not true, which is false. So the else statement is run and stay inside is printed. Now we've seen a wide array of if statements or conditional statements. It's time to practice what we've learned so far with a demo of creating the game Rock, Paper, Scissors.